Hello, today I'm going to show you how to insert a 360 photo you have taken with your Theta camera into a Google site using the website Koola and a Google gadget called iFrame. The final product will look similar to this. In order to get this final project, you will need to sign up for a Koola account. The website is k-u-u-l-a dot c-o. Once all that has been set up, you will need to click the upload button. Then we will need to find our photo that we want to upload. Drag and drop. It will begin uploading the image, which should not take too long. We'll give it a description. We can look at different filters to apply if you want to do such things. Um, you can choose to share what information, such as the camera. The heading will be where the north or first look starts. When you move your screen around and click the set heading button, that will be the the first view of your photo. Now, once all the settings and options are the way you want it, click post it. And your photo will be on your Koola page. Then we will come back to our Google site. Since we are adding one, we will have to click edit page. Scroll down, find where we want to add our new photo. Now, since we cannot embed certain things into Google Sites, we have to use a Google gadget called iFrame. To get that, we click Insert, More Gadgets. We will search I-F-R-A-M-E. And it should be the first one at the top. Make sure it says Scott. Johnston or Johnstone, I'm not sure. Either way, thank you, Scott. Click Select. And here, you can make some custom settings as well. For my site, I use 640 by 400. I uh, usually leave the border. I put a title, which I just copied from the Koola site. The view can be default or canvas, whatever you prefer. Now the URL to content will be the URL from our Koola site. Let's go back to copy that. And we will paste it into that gadget. And we will press OK. It is done. Click Save. And when it page reloads, you will see your 360 photo on your Google site. Now if you notice, it's going to look a little different because we copied the URL exactly. It gives us these option bars. If you want to keep that, that's fine. Not a problem. But if you want it to look like the image on your right and not have those options, let's go back to edit our page. Go back to our Google Gadget, and on the URL where it says post, type share, OK, save, and now they are uniform. Your users can click and drag, look up and down and all around, and who knows who or what you might see. Thank you.